Hello and welcome to uh, a special Labor Day, we don't have to work tomorrow, special of kicking it. And I, of course, am James Manning III, and we're kicking it with David Ledbetter today. David Ledbetter is a good friend of mine and a very funny comedian, so I'm happy he's joining us uh, today at the Dirty Chalkboard uh, in the Green Room Studios. What's going on, Dave? It's a it's a very good studio. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, what's going on? Uh, I mean, do you do you want you want the showbiz answer? You want you want the real shit? We can do we can do a little from column A, a little from column B. Uh, showbiz answer first, and we'll co- okay, compare it so with sh- the, the, the real shit. Uh, showbiz answer first. Uh, you know, I'm just I'm working on I'm working on some new shows that I'm gonna try to to try to take on the road. Pretty excited about that. The real answer, how I'm doing right now, fucking made some bad food decisions today and I'm really sleepy. <laughs> That's the real shit. I get raw. Yes. The, uh, I can probably attest for that bad food decisions. You swore you swore you wouldn't talk about it on camera. All right, oh, moving you on. Need to shoot beverage out of my nose. <laughs> we, we, you know, we're, we're just moving on. Uh, oh no! Oh, look what you did to me. Do we need to start over? I, I think, uh, we're doing it. <laughs> we'll edit out about forty-five okay. percent of these cops. I'm, I'm wondering, uh, <sighs> do we need an explanation, or is it better to just let it go? Uh, uh, I made I the <laughs> repercussions to my poor food decisions. Um, that happened just before the cameras turned on, and uh, James <laughs> bore the, the brunt of it, and it was uh, it was a shameful moment in our friendship. But I feel like it made us grow closer. Uh, well, you know, I I positioned the fan directly across, and just got. Uh, I did turn my head. There was a wave of stank. We might say it's it was the Dave wave. It was reminiscent of Costco hot dogs. This is what I. Uh, a hot dog today, though. That's the damnedest thing. <laughs> what can you do? Um, actually, uh, today is a very special version of Memorial <laughs> Day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get stuff blown out your nose special. Uh, <laughs> Memorial Day. Uh, I'm getting paid to not work tomorrow. Uh, As am I. We're, s- we're both union men, right? I'm not union, but I got... Some, actually, you, you know, know, neither am I. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, turns out we just, uh, have strong moral values. I, I'm, I'm no, yeah, not a union man. My boss is just not a terrible person, so. <laughs> That's exactly what I am. <laughs> so somehow we are, uh, non-union? I, I guess, yeah. um, hmm. Unions are good, though. I was a part of a union once. Yeah, me we're, too. We're not hating on unions, actually, but the non-union life seems to be working out. Uh. <laughs> real roll of dice, though. Let me tell that, you. That is that, that is a uh, exception and not the rule. Last time Usually, I last time I didn't work a union, a man told me to touch poop with my hands, and that's what happens sometimes. Luckily, uh, my job description is nowhere near any poop. Uh, Neither was mine. No, <laughs> I worked at Chipotle. No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> was, yeah. I'm gonna watch gonna... out for that aluminum. It's a chipotle. A little extra aluminum foil in their shavings in their uh <laughs> is there. Uh, I'm not gonna tell that story. Is that is that cousin. is that libel? Libel? I don't know. I've never been to a Chipotle, so neither have I. I have a gift card. I have two Chipotle gift cards in my wallet right. Do you wanna just you know what? Fuck the show. We're going to Chipotle right now. Okay, afterwards we're gonna go to Chipotle. And we you know we're gonna unionize every Chipotle in the country, starting with the one wherever the nearest one is. I've ne- I don't even know where I would find the Chipotle. We're going to go into a Chipotle, and we're going to demand that they unionize, and we're gonna order food and pay for it in gift cards. Classy. Uh, I'm for it. All right. I, I only tip in Chipotle gift cards. <laughs> Whether or not I'm at Chipotle. <laughs> there's there's 75 cents left on this gift card. Yeah. It's all yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's all you. You buy yourself, like, part of a soda. 
Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, what do you think? Uh, tell, tell us a fun fact about yourself. Oh. Uh, fun, like an example might be fun fact for me is uh, I love ancient history uh, because it's easy to make fun of. I plan. <laughs> I mean, from my moral perspective, it's like, what are they doing, you know? Moral and modern, I can't believe it. They do some crazy stuff. There you go, example. All right, uh, fun, fun fact about me, I, um, uh, oh, you know what? You know what? Um, I once, uh, I once, uh, I once drowned, and, like, I fully died. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, this is why I like to ask questions like this. All right. Please explain. So you you once you drowned and fully died, and somebody pulled you out. I I was resuscitated. Yeah, I was in a pool, and a kid pushed me in. I did not swim, and uh, I I did die. And then I was resuscitated. I was about eight years old, and then I was resuscitated. And the first thing I did was I jumped up, spit out a bunch of water. I jumped up and I grabbed the kid that pushed me into the pool, and I was going to scream in his face about you know what's wrong with you or something like that. Uh, but there was still quite a bit of water in my lungs, so I grabbed this child. I was also a child, but I did just, like, try to scream in his face and then just, like, ha! Just water. Which is actually worse than anything yes. I could have possibly done to this person on purpose. And I kind of feel like he ended up with more trauma than I did. Yeah, take that. You were just like, oh, I'm gonna yell at you. <laughs> yeah, like he, I like I, I had to like I saw a light at the end of the tunnel, and then he, he, but then he went to hell in that moment. <laughs> he was, you were like, oh dude, I'm gonna teach this guy. I got something to say to you, and it just like rockets out of him. Oh, that's great. It probably that impulse probably was uh, helpful. Uh, I bet he didn't do it again. <laughs> I, I bet he learned. It's like, oh man, there will spew water in your face. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is a gem. That is a gem of a story there. Well, yeah, I've, I've been to, I've entered into, uh, I never fully died, my gosh. Uh, but I did almost drown once. Yeah, I mean, I've been in a few situations where, like, you know, my life was in danger. You know, I like to call those situations the cops. Uh, <laughs> also, the ocean and a rattlesnake. Um... <laughs> Being on the edge, it's you, really quite scary. You know what uh, they say is that rattlesnakes are like the cops of snakes. And right? the, the gotcha. And the, the ocean is the ocean is like the cops of large bodies of water. <laughs> it's like, oh no, I fell into the cops. Uh, <laughs> man in the cops. Um, <laughs> oh, he's gone. He's gone. There's nothing we can do. It's lost in a gale. <laughs> oh, oh, wait wait a minute. So, I, I, there's a few things that you just said that make me have to ask this question. It's not maybe very entertaining for the show. Are you also obsessed with boats and sailing? I just really like a good maritime joke. Um, but yes. Okay. Uh, Master and Commander is an excellent movie. Uh, I'm for it. Um, actually... All the old sails and stuff back in the old days was all made out of him. So, yeah. There you go. It was all him. Yeah. Clothes, I, everything. I don't know if this is entertaining, but I'm having fun. <laughs> I love me some uh, old... Actually, I used to play the... Uh, what is that? Assassin's Creed Black Flag? Yeah. Oh, man. But the only thing I love more than boats... Naval combat. Boats. Oh, I was going to say boat stunts. <laughs> yeah, you can maneuver and, like, upgrade your hull and ram into people. I, I'm, I'm talking ropes. I'm talking jumping. I'm talking yelling. Mm -hmm. It's all the good stuff. Oh, yeah, you can board other people's boats and just, like, ah, take it off. Yelling at whales. Yelling at whales. I do that. As many times as I can. A couple times a year I get out and I just fucking yell at whales. Just yell I just whales. really let them have it. They need to know that we're around. They need you know, They need to like, be put in their place. You guys gotta keep it down. <laughs> you just you gotta have it. Yeah, whales. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whales. All right. <laughs> 
You gotta speak in the language they understand, right? Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say violence. <laughs> violence. Like, oh, oh yeah, you just got you just want a little Captain Ahab on us, did yeah. you? Yeah, like, I do. I, I need to make the record straight. I, I don't advocate for violence against whales. Um, but if you're going to, I would try to fist fight them. You know, get on get on their level. Considering whales don't have fists, I think that that's a if you have the advantage. What are you pretty, waiting for, coward? I mean, uh, what your weight advantage does nothing because your reach is is nothing. Well, they say so thirty pounds is a bell. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thirty pounds is a bell. Are those water pounds or? How the, yeah, they're they're, 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 they're nautical pounds. Nautical pounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like how many knots can you wrap around? Yeah. This is very scientific. We've gotten. Yeah. This... Uh, <laughs> Pretty soon, we're going to bust out a uh, cello and a violin, and uh, the cook will be mad at us for playing the same old dribble. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's the rest of the show, all shanties. Just shanties from here on just, out. Just, I think, okay, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, we can do some shanties. Um, after we figure out what in the fuck is with that skunk, there's a skunk out here in the middle of suburbia. Like, there's nothing around here for a skunk. How is it possible that there is a skunk smell? Well, I think that at this point you need to, you know, the, you know what they say: if the whole world smells like shit, check your shoes. If the whole world smells like skunk, why are you? What are you doing to make this skunk feel so welcome? How in the world could I? There's no hovel for skunk here. There's no safe harbor. Is, is for that skunk here. Do skunks live in hovels? Is that what it's called? I would think that they do. They make a little skunk hovel. I would. No, I, I thought they lived that, in hamlets. Skunk hamlets, mm -hmm. perhaps. Maybe a villa. A uh, possible uh, skunk cottage. Yeah, I guess they're yeah. really good. You ever think that a uh, skunk might shack up with a beaver? Or do they not like the water? You'd have to get to the. But he'd probably have plenty of room. Either way, it'd be super hot. I guess you just don't want to. Ever bunk? Just go right past that. <laughs> Just cruise Super on. hot beaver and skunk action. But you never want to bunk with a skunk, right? I like that you uh, made a specific segment for your show to ask the internet about what's with the skunk in your yard. <clears throat> well, we gotta we gotta add content somehow. Uh, let me see here. Uh, we're gonna do a little uh, word association. Right. Ready? Yeah. Uh, Goofy. Uh, that, uh, one time at Disneyland, uh, Goofy just like was like my parents were trying to take a picture uh, of me with Goofy, but Goofy was like spinning me around. He was like trying to like he's doing he's doing a bit with me, and I was not into it because like I knew just an adult man wearing a giant costume was like grabbing me, and that was not cool. And actually, you know, there's a weird fun. Fa this should have been my fun fact. Uh, I that might have been Scott Ackerman. That might have that might have been in, go in Goofy. Yeah, he, he was Goofy at Disneyland for like the timeline checks out. He was Goofy at Disneyland in the nineties, and uh, so I think Scott Ackerman might have manhandled me and made me cry. That is a fun, that's a extremely fun fact. Yeah, that's yeah. And I you know I've kept <laughs> quiet about it until now, and I I will have my revenge. You will get that goofy some bitch. All right. Uh, second word association: bunnies. Bunnies. Uh, uh, one time, I um, uh, 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 the, um, I, 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 uh, that the thing I came up with wasn't funny. It was just sad and gross. Uh, first, uh, okay. Delicious. Perfect. Perfect. Uh. <laughs> Did you? Is let's, that? Just, let's hope that you don't answer the same thing to this next one. Number three, fart. Okay, so earlier <laughs> I was looking over your shoulder and I was like, he did not just write <laughs> fart yeah, on a did. piece of paper. Yep. And he's like, I'm, this is gold. I'm saving it for the show. You're the first person to ever be able to read my handwriting successfully, and you. And, and I've never been more full of regret. No, you should have never seen that. But yeah, so first. Uh, First word that comes to mind when I say fart was the fact that you wrote <laughs> fart on a piece of paper and were like, okay. this is going in the show. That's perfect. That's perfect. 
Yeah, it's going in the show. I had to spice it up. All right, what do you think about this? Uh, what's your favorite animated film? Favorite animated film would probably have to be... Man. Does Space Jam count? Yes, it does. That, that it, prob- Space Jam is uh, kind of like a flagship movie of the 90s. I yeah, believe. then I would probably have to say Into the Spider-Verse. This is one I'm not familiar with. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. How do you, you haven't seen Into the Spider-Verse. I haven't. That's literally anyone else who this video comes into contact with is going to be flabbergasted that you have not even heard of Into the Spider-Verse. Who, uh... It's a Spider-Man movie. It's on Netflix. It's animated. It's Miles Morales. Oh. John Mulaney's in it. Oh, I see why I haven't seen it. It's a Spider-Man movie. Oh, There's don't you? There's a billion of them. I don't know yeah, which but, ones are good and which one aren't. It's like... The that one that everyone on the fucking planet was talking about for like a year and a half. Spider-Man movies are like pebbles of sand on the beach. Yeah, but that's the thing is that what if one of the pebbles... <laughs> had John Mulaney in it for like a minute. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, I will. He's not like it. a main part of the film at all. He's in it for like thirty seconds. I it just made me really happy. So Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Yeah, into the Spider Verse. Yeah. It's also, the you first the first Jewish Spider Man. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. It's the mo- only in the multi. They had to. You know what's fun? You know what? I've got. I've got a Spider Man in the yeah, Spider Verse. Yeah. Here's a, a hot, hot take man about a with the Spider Man. Here's a hot take about a movie that you haven't seen. So I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna make fun of them. Yeah. So here's the thing. <laughs> never has there been in all of the various sort of different kinds of Spider Man. I uh, never has there been a Jewish Spider Man. Until the only time that they were able to sort of bring it into this fan- th- th- fantastical world in which there could be a Jewish Spider-Man, there was also Spider-Pig. There was, there had to... What? Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, and also, it's not like directly, they weren't like, it wasn't like a huge plot point that he was Jewish, but like he had a Jewish wedding, it like cuts to it for a minute. But I see these things, and I see that they, they, those fucking cowards... They, they, I don't they, remember they, the end of this sentence. I wasn't, I didn't really have a point. I just realized that... Uh, it's not important. Cut this out. To have uh, J- Joan, Joan, <laughs> Jones, uh, Edward, uh, whoever the editor is, Ed- Edward the editor, fucking just <laughs> the whole, the last word of that sentence, you can, you can, I know that you know when that started to lose steam and become nothing. I had something for a minute and I, oh, oh, there it goes. And you know, you know when you need to make that cut. Uh, <laughs> we'll go back to word associations. What do you think? Uh, let's see here. Uh, jewels. Jewels. Uh, Run the Jewels. You ever listen to Run the Jewels? Uh, number five. Uh, <laughs> you haven't listened to Run the Jewels. You haven't Run seen the any of the Spider-Verse. What do you mean? Run the Jewels. It's a it's a rap group. We can just move on. It's a very good... It's just... That's, that's more homework for you. I, I'm learning a lot. Uh, this one, uh, I, you never know where these are going to go. Uh, but I don't, maybe you couldn't read this one. Uh, jewels run the jewels. Number five, chicken. Chicken. Uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, one time I saw a, uh, I, I was attacked by a flock of chickens. A flock? Like well, it was, it was like, it was, okay, it was like two, but they were big. Two, what? two fucking just real fucking just swole chickens. Just swole as some just mean. like I'm gonna they, cock and doodle your do yeah. kind of deal. My God, yeah, I was uh, terrifying like I was, raptors. I was legally Jesus. dead for three minutes after these chickens. No, that old you. Uh, that, no, not not quite. I you know I wanted to be pulled the feathers out of your nose. Have you was. No. <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. They pulled the feathers out of my nose. Yeah, because uh, the chickens. Why? Why was? Well, see, that was why they yeah. were mad. Because I was snorting chickens yeah, that's, for a while. That's why they were. I was just fucking. I was just huffing all the hens, and then those hyperventilating on chicken feathers. Yeah. And uh, they thought you were in trouble. Yeah. That's in in my uh, imaginary world. That's that's where it went. Mm-hmm. Um, was there more to that? Was no. There like terrifying talons. Uh, well, there's nothing really worse. Uh, no real worse feeling than being sort of uh, attacked by an animal that is about one-eighth your size and just losing so decisively. 
<laughs> yeah, like they just don't even know that they could lose. Like yeah, exactly. Like they, there's such a confidence there that, yeah. Well, you know, but you know what? Two days later, Raccoon ripped him in half. So it's fine. He took his creepy little hands and he did terrible things with them. <laughs> I bet you the Raccoon was like, that's the best you got, chicken. So uh, that's, that's a, the best you got going after the human, really? Because raccoons, I feel like, also have that false confidence of like, I'll just, I'll just fight a motherfucker. And I love that from like an evolutionary state. I feel like badgers and roosters just both have survived for this long just by being like, I will throw hands with literally anything. anything. I will, I will fight God. Well, they are just a feisty creature. Like, they look cuddly, but they're like koalas. Uh, but I, I, koalas are not cuddly. They will tear your ass apart. Don't pet wild koalas, everybody. They all have chlamydia as well. But that's common now. You shouldn't you don't do need to know anything that. else with wild koalas either, apparently. Uh, alright. What things do you prefer fluffy? Uh, oddly enough, chickens. Uh, I like fluffy chickens. I've, I, I have once... Dealt with a silky chicken. Fuck yeah. They were cool. Yeah. Cool chicken. Cool chicken. Looks like a slipper that came to life from a child's wish. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that's really a chicken? Uh, hmm, I don't know. I was going to say the uh, the next thing that I have written down for word association is uh, pee pee boo boo. What do you think? Is hey. are, are you fucking serious? <laughs> Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would never write that down. I would never write fart either. I'm going to go get this nope. card. I'm going to go get that card and look at it. <laughs> uh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what? You make a strong argument. No, it was, uh, it was totally, uh, yeah, it wasn't on there with fart. Fart wasn't on there either. So what, what, compa- so I have a question for you now, James. <laughs> Where did you imagine the sort of fun sort of tangent we would go on? What did, what did that look like in your head? The fun know. tangent we would go on based off just just the word fart. I figured it would catch you off guard, but you ruined that. I was fucking uh, ready. I'm always ready. <laughs> he was ready. You weren't. Well, you weren't ready for the uh, comment earlier. <laughs> yeah, because that was a private moment between friends that you published. <laughs> All you had to know was gonna publish it. Did I didn't say it? <laughs> you were getting there until I shot beer out of my nose. <laughs> oh well, you can't. You never knew. Uh, I gotta watch a Spider-Man movie now. This is something I did not expect. There is a very good Spider Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, you got. Uh, you know, you got. Spider-Man, you got colors, lots of col- colors make an appearance, um, and sometimes they don't. There's a whole black and white segment. Oh, wow. Yeah. This has just been a commercial for in- Into the Spider. This is guerrilla <laughs> marketing. This is the worst guerrilla marketing. Yeah, they're gonna, I'm gonna be like, look, Spider-Man people, you owe James Maddox some money. <laughs> if you were a Spider-Man villain, what would your name be? Oh, oh. Because, oh, I'd be a hell of a Spider-Man villain. Fireface? Dr. Crayons. <laughs> Dr. Crayons? Ooh, I'm going to color all over you. That's so long, Spider-Man. You can't get that smell out. <laughs> You're going to smell like crayons for weeks, Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> just like melt them and shoot them out of a gun and shoot molten crayons. How? I think that's a war crime. <laughs> is molten crayons? Well, I think so. I think that's kind of like the Airbud. Def- you could use the Airbud defense on that. And that there's nowhere in the rule book that <laughs> you says you, that dogs can't play basketball. There's nowhere in the rule book that says I can't melt down a bunch of crayons and murder, do a murder with them. One at a time, and they cool as they're flying through the air. It's very sinister. It's very uh, sinister. It's very sinister, and Spider-Man doesn't stand a chance. Um, <laughs> Dr. Crayons. That's... I'm going to draw horrible pictures of you, Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, no, this is... 
gone horribly off the rails. You know, uh, the, you know what the most powerful Spider-Man villain is? Arthritis. <laughs> he goes to shoot the webs, and it's like, ah, you can't, you can't. Do, I already almost can't do this. Look at these, look at these thingies. They're not good at, they're not good at their job. <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of like comes out as a club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not like a nice string. He's which got, after a while, he's got to sort of just clap and just like, hey, starts how you can get out of here. I didn't really think that Spider Man was going to be such a big subject, but uh, I, for some reason, I'm really enjoying the Spider Man. <laughs> for some reason, I was uh, like, for, "This is a weird gap in James's pop cultural knowledge," and I just need to just jump into it and just sort of, sort of test the, the yeah. test the space. Uh, I have to say that I pretty much live in the past. Um, anything new is very foreign to me. Uh, I resist change. Um, I don't watch Spider-Man How do you movies. feel about TikTok? Um, TikTok, I have Are tried you... a bunch of things, and it's really not me. Uh, I get to, you know, a couple 500 views or something and one like, you know. <laughs> I, I've made a couple TikTok accounts, and I make, I make the TikToks, and uh, sometimes they do okay. But then um, later, I will be laying in bed and I will bolt awake with the fear, the sudden fear that my coworkers will see my TikTok and then they will know that I did, that I, that I, they'll know that I'm like a fully fleshed out human being and I cannot have that. That's, I, I, it's you know, untenable. You can't, you can't have your coworkers thinking you're a human being. Um, how else with do like you... hobbies and interests? Like, no, no, I mean, you don't want them knowing what you're into, and uh, you gotta keep them in line. Yeah. You know, don't, don't cross I need to. I need to remain That's, mysterious. Uh, yeah, you gotta maintain that that line where everybody respects you and fears you. I'm, yeah, I'm sort of, uh, you know. I'm sort of, like, viewed as, like, a barn cat at, at work. I sort of, I sort of, sort of slink in and slink out, and nobody knows why I'm there, or... <laughs> Right, and they, they look at you, and then they look away, and they look back, and you're gone. And they know that if gone. they make a sudden movement around them, I, I will either bolt or lunge. <laughs> Those are, that's just how I, that's how I do it. Yeah. Uh, you are known for making it sound once in a while. I, uh, um, I did, um, I did get caught taking a nap at work. I did have, like, three hours of downtime, and so I was sleeping in an old chair, and uh, someone came in the door, and I was very startled, um, <laughs> un unreasonably angry that someone would enter their own office uh, while while I was sleeping in it. Uh, uh, what are you What are you doing here? They, oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, they they offered that I could just go to their house next door to the workplace, and uh, <laughs> then I could sleep there. And I told them absolutely not. Because I don't know where all the doors are. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite. I just imagine you kind of curled up in the chair. Just <laughs> That's basically what it was. <laughs> you just, uh, you know, hey, what are you going to do? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I myself don't get enough sleep. Hard to imagine, right? You look so youthful. <laughs> I know. I'm just I honestly, I don't have any fucking clue how old you are. Youthful Captain Crayons. You here, could be. Uh, you could be twenty nine or forty six. I have literally no idea. And neither one of those is correct. I like the mystery though. It's yeah, like, you told me once, but I'm not like yeah, a good listener. So no. and that <laughs> breaking. <laughs> just, nobody cares how old I. Through past past twenty one, nobody nobody really cares, and uh, that's good. And my and my birthday wishes have gotten sort of let more and more sad as time goes on. Like twenty one, I want just a huge rager, you know. Of course, like eight eight years old, you want everything to be race cars because you're a goddamn idiot. And then oh, yeah. you know, I wanted a huge rager when I was twenty one, and then with twenty three, big camping trip. I want all my buddies there. We're gonna have such a great time. 26, I said, I want to eat french fries on a roof. And you know what I did? And I made everyone come up to a roof and eat french fries with me. I think because they were worried about me in retrospect. They were like, I don't know why, 
But uh, it seems it seems like he really needs this. You guys, so, uh, we gotta get some French fries and meet Dave on the roof, okay? Yeah. He's, uh, he's, we need. Uh, who's getting the ketchup? Is what I'm asking. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you, if you were my real friend, you would know that I fucking hate ketchup on French fries. Oh no! Dude. Mustard or die. That's what I always say. Okay, that's, mustard. Uh, that's like, what all my t-shirts say. St- stone ground or yellow? Or, uh, I mean, or honey Dijon. What's your favorite kind of mustard? Uh, I mean, I'm, 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 a, I'm a stone ground gentleman. Stone ground mustard is the is the best. Yeah, we woke up the dog with that high five. Yeah, that's it's right. so crisp. That's, <laughs> I have a little dog, and he's right here, and uh, he's now mad. You don't and, get to see him, but he's really fucking cute. He's giving me the one-eyed stare. He's like, ah, you woke me up. Uh, you can check out my Instagram. Uh, he, he's, he's super cute, and he's on there. All right. <laughs> I looked at your way, so, okay, I was like, oh, are we doing plugs now? And I realized, oh, you're just, you're just plugging your dog sounds like a bad hey, thing you said. I yeah. would never plug my dog, but I would plug myself. Uh, <laughs> Dave Manning with there, right on. Uh, and wait, uh, your Instagram handle is... Under the pool table. Uh, yes, I am under the pool table. Uh, it's not a great sort of, it's not good branding. I thought it was funny. It's based on an inside joke that I'm the only one who remembers. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm uh, at under the pool table on Instagram. Um, I guess if uh, people watch this, I'll start using Instagram. Uh, definitely <laughs> hit me with a follow. And uh, I've, I'm, I'm producing some shows around the Eugene area. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna be at the. Uh, mm-hmm. Are we are we doing plugs or am I just? Yeah, oh, go okay, for it. sure. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I'm gonna be at the Savage Henry Comedy Festival um, this October. I also have a uh, video of myself uh, and some other great comics um, at the Ghost Light Playhouse in Medford, and that is going to be up on YouTube as soon as I message Nick and ask if he can please publish that. Oh for yeah, me. it'll it'll be up, and uh, the Ghost Light Playhouse. It's a great place. Yeah, Excellent venue. You it's can, super fucking cool. Yeah, and when they get it posted, it'll be great video and audio. It's it's awesome. They do a great job there. And they got a whole bunch of them up, so go check them out and soon. The uh, best thing to happen to Medford since... Since it, yeah. since it was just a big field. That was pretty cool. I'm not really sure what else is best that happened in Medford, but I, I'm actually looking to get up there because Nick Lanner is also uh he's a comedian but he's running the kitchen up at the ghost like playhouse and uh fantastic um, hamburgers i just cannot wait uh, to to get into some of that food for real uh i've seen pictures of it online it looks amazing um so i'm really looking forward to yeah that. we are we are not in any mm-hmm. way benefiting from plugging this venue at all it's just a cool venue with some some cool dudes that make good hamburgers i mean for real uh we're just passing the word along to whoever. Because the cool thing about the Ghost Light is that they're always putting their shows up online. Yeah. So you can check them out anytime. Uh, Get up in there. <laughs> yeah, put your nose in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just get up there and huff it. Yeah. Huff it like it's a just a just a beautiful. Hand. Yeah, that's like it. it's a be- like it's a like it's a huff brooding head. Stick them feathers in your nose and hyperventilate. Just uh, get those downy ones. You gotta just, huff hard enough for the downy ones to get up in your schnoot. I'm James Manning, and I want to say, get yourself a can of Ghost Light Playhouse. Shake it up and spray it into a bag. All right. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, no, uh, no, I don't think that they sell it in that way, but check it out. Um, <laughs> Has the camera been crooked this whole time? Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to make you look taller than me, and I think you I did a pretty good job. I uh, I also look like I look strong. I feel like I look strong. I don't yeah. feel strong. I feel like I look it. Uh, well, you know, um, we're actually aboard ship, and the tide has been a uh, little. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, maybe this is a good time to bring yeah, us maybe, to maybe a, a, just a like, screeching halt. What do you think? Well, I feel like it came to a screeching halt some time ago. <laughs> We've just been coasting on fumes downhill. I've had a very uh, long day. West. <laughs> it was full of loud noises and scary people. And 
Yeah, that was mostly it. I just want to point out that you never know what you're going to get when you tune into Kicking It <laughs> with James Brandon III and David Ledbetter tonight. All right, you guys. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Be safe and don't fucking get hurt because there's no hospital beds left. Yeah, we'll see you in hell. <laughs> Bye now.